Hello everyone. Today I want to share an experience from one of our clients. I think it's going to ring true for you too. Because I think we all have been frustrated at one time or another by this aspect of daily practice life. Dr. Lee was super frustrated because he just didn't seem to be connecting as much as he wanted to with his patients. He said, I just want my patients to listen to me more. I wish they would follow my recommendations. Now there's many aspects to take into consideration when coming up with solutions for this challenge, but I'm a big believer in KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. So we recommended that he begin focusing on one aspect. And you can just as easily begin to apply this one simple step to begin building even better relationships with your patients. Whenever you're talking with someone, make sure and use their name. Sounds simple, right? So for those of you who are thinking, yeah, right, all I have to do is say my patient's name and all of a sudden they'll start listening to my recommendations. Well, here's the science behind it. Specifically, RAS, Reticular Activating System. The Reticular Activating System is one of the structures of the brain responsible for orientation and attention. Most commonly, the RAS is associated with the concept of selective attention information or ideas that we naturally orient ourselves to because we're invested in them. For instance, you're in a crowded room, you can't hear much of anything, but you suddenly turn to someone who has just used your name in their conversation. Since our names are one thing we're clearly interested and invested in, we naturally focus more fully when someone mentions us. So when you're talking with your patients, use their name often. Adult learning theories tell us adults are much more interested in the content that you'll deliver when you use their name throughout your explanation or story. And they're doubly focused when you use their name and address specific problems or concerns that they're having right now. So Dr. Lee was pleasantly surprised with his patient retention improving. How about giving it a try? So my one recommended action step. Commit this week to incorporate your patients' names into your dialogues and then pay close attention to them. I bet you'll see that they focus, listen, and follow your recommendations even more. Until next time, we wish you health and happiness, and here's to growing your practice from within.